consider 5 raised to x squared equals x. Now, how do you solve for x? All right, so let's first of all bring the power on my left down as I take log on both sides. So I'll introduce natural log on both sides. So have a length of that. 5 raised to x squared equals to ln of x. Now, when we have ln of a raised to p, we save as p ln of a. So this side is x squared ln of 5 equals to ln of x. Let's group the x on one side we have ln of x and we have x squared here so we can divide both sides by x squared x squared so this one will go my left hand side will be ln of 5 equals to ln of x um, x squared as simple as that now if we can conclude we need to apply Lambert W function so with the Lambert W function we need to introduce the e okay now when you have e raising ln of something the result will be that Okay, so the lambda double function when you have alpha times e raised to alpha, the result will be alpha. So this one is very powerful. When you want to introduce lambda double function. Okay, so what I'll do here is to um write this one in linear form. Okay, so I can say ln of x times x raised to minus 2. So this one is the same as this. Now what I will do here is to support this x here. Since e raising ln of something will be with that thing, I will take e raised ln of this. So in going back, the result will still be x raised to negative 2. Okay. So from here, I can say ln of 5 ln of x times e raised to ln. Remember the property. So I have done nothing here. I'm going back this one I'll cancel out, giving x raised to negative 2. All right. Now, let's observe this one carefully. Since this one is a power rule, I'll take this one to this side. Okay. So this one will be minus two L of x. Now, don't forget that we are working towards W function. Remember this, okay? That's not alpha. So, always this one is the same as this. And we have minus 2 ln of x, and there is no minus 2 here. So, we can't take the W function. So, let's balance it by multiplying both sides by negative 2. Which make this side equal to this side. So from here, we can say minus 2, ln of 5 equals to minus 2, ln of x, e raised to minus 2, ln of x. 
All right, I simplify that. Now from here, minus two, I don't know, five, equals that. So since this one equals that, we can take W function, okay? So let's take W function. So we have W function with that. And we have W function minus two. Well, x okay times e raised to minus two ln of x. So w function of this because that the result to be minus two ln of x. And this side we can manipulate this one the same as two times minus one okay times ln of five. Okay, so from here, we can also see this side same as 2 times minus 1 times ln of x. So this negative will come here. Don't forget this. ln of a to the power p, the same as p ln of a. So we have the b function of 2. I don't know, 5 to the power minus 1. Okay. And this side will be 2, I don't know, x raised negative 1. W function of 2, I don't know, 1 over 5. So we have 1 over 5. So if we want to go again, this side will be 1 over 5. And we have two ln of one on x. Okay, so let's divide both sides by two. That will be w function of two ln of one of five. So if we are to divide both sides by two, take over two over two. So everything over two. So this side will cancel. And this side will be over 2 equals to ln of 1 on x or x to the power negative 1. Remember, e raised ln of box, dot box. So, what we are after here is x. And we need to dissolve or remove this. And we can only do that by raising both sides with e. So minus there will be e raised to w function of two ln of one on five on two. Cos e raised to ln of that. As simple as that. So my left hand side will be e. W function to ln of one on five on two equals to one on x since this one will vanish. So my final answer as we do cross multiplication my x my x will be one on so we have p w function two and two. All right. So that is that. We have this answer. Alright, subscribe for more skating videos.